Hello everybody and welcome to Dungeon of the Endless. My name is The Voices and uh, we are on floor 2. So, grabbing all three of the heroes we have, especially the new one who came out just recently in the patch, as I mentioned last time, Dust Thirst. Now, we lose Dust Loot actually by 30%, but um, I believe we uh, gain the tap power by killed mobs. So every mob we kill is a good thing for us. Now we want to make sure we have something in here. Let's go with the food replicator because we do need levels. And we're going to send these two to the next room. Which unfortunately doesn't have a uh, resource. Uh, a major node. Is the proper term. Which isn't great. So we can give three wit to someone. Now wit is the bonus we get for repairing and operating modules. So neither character really needs this but we'll equipped it here. She can now operate modules, which is good because she's sort of going to be our vanguard character. We're going to leave her in a room where we sort of want defense to be. Um, not so much in this room, but we will be upgrading our food uh, capacity, which is good. And what we're going to do is we're not going to do these side rooms. We'll avoid that. We get armor. Minus one speed. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to equip that to her. Increase her defense some more. Now her speed suffers, but she was the slowest of the group already. So I'm not too worried about her speed suffering a little bit. Um, she is a very defensive character though. 29 defense already. Um, and that's like a huge boost compared to everyone else. I mean, she did gain 9 from this, but even before this she had a... Uh, it's not updating. There we go. 20, which is still higher than most of these guys. He's at 24. We just gave him armor, though. And I believe you're... No, you're level 2 still. So, the grenade, right. Grenade and uh, that gave him pretty great defense, so... We want to power this room up as soon as we can, though. We actually want you to stay in this room. Just in case monsters spawn. And unfortunately, we hit a dead end, so... Not great. Not great at all. So next room we open, we will have a... Uh, New node operating. We actually found a character. Um, yeah, we're gonna recruit you. We're gonna recruit you. And you're gonna sit there now. We don't have any items we can give you. And you have that ability when you're in dark rooms. No, nope, please go back there. I misclicked. Um, so I think we're gonna have him and the other guy go to other rooms. Now we wanna level him up twice because he's a little weak health wise and defense. Like, now he's pretty buff, but I mean, beforehand he wasn't, he, d he has low HP and he's a very, like, brutal character. You sort of want him fighting in these dark rooms. He does gain that speed for unpowered rooms, but more importantly, his uh, war face is, like, an amazing ability to go out with. Because if you come across anything, you can sort of fight them off. So what we really want to do is we want to light up these uh, four rooms. Make sure they're lit up. Um... And the reason we want to do that is so we can have more uh, more room to explore without having to worry about these two rooms being under attack. And we found the merchant! Hello! Now, you definitely have some really nice stuff on you right now. Um, quick draw, do we have any characters who use guns? We do not. So we won't be using that. Maybe t-shirt for defense on one of our characters. Maybe not, though. The speed is a little... Uh, Minus two speed um, can be pretty bad for us. I mean, we're not the fastest characters of the lot, but like we really can't afford to be losing out on that much speed um, when we move stuff, even if it's for defense. Maybe we would equipped it to our friend. Otherwise, well, I think we want everyone to concentrate here. Have him stay here and fight that guy. And that other one, apparently. Oh, are we gonna... I don't want to lose you. Maybe that was a little preemptive to heal her. You know, we didn't necessarily have to, but we're gonna heal her right now. War Rider! So a, uh... <laughs> Mounted or on foot, Calvary is dangerous. Um, I couldn't agree more. So unfortunately, we hit another dead end, which means we want these rooms powered. Now the question is, do we really want the merchant to survive? 
Uh, I'm not sure, but we actually are going to put some defenses in this room, and it's going to cost us quite a bit because I want to fortify it real well. Um, which isn't proper English, but you know, whatever, it's fine. We are going to do some research, and uh, we're actually at the end of this side of the crap. So it's a real good thing we're building up defenses now, because we need them. We need to make sure this room holds. Now, we have the Claymores. Claymores do how much? They have 5 attack power, they have an attack cooldown of 2 seconds, and they uh, damage in a 40 radius. Um, damage power is 17 as well. Um, so this is a really powerful item. One of those in the room on top of uh, our prisoner, two prisoner pods, which will be level 2 in 3 turns. It's really, really powerful. So, let's have these guys continue on this way, and I think what we're going to do is we'll send people back. Yeah, we'll send them both back when uh, we have these issues of the room under attack. Now, let's activate that. I am a little worried that she'll go down, so I want her to sort of feign a retreat. We'll have her stay here. Now, the healing capabilities of this uh, device are not great. We are sort of in a weird place with them. Like, they aren't terrible. Like, the healing from that was pretty uh, significant in towards of aimed towards this early game, but I uh, feel a lot more comfortable with a uh, actual soldier in there, like someone who can really fight. Now, this is what we really have to watch out for, is um, we want to watch our health very carefully. We're actually going to call him in. Just in case, so I don't want her dying. And alright, good, we're safe. Now this is a problem. So we lit up this room, to sort of relieve the pressure. Actually, what we should light up is this room. That way we can build here. Um, the problem is we have this room open now, which means two enemies can spawn here, which isn't good for us at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave him in here. And uh, there we go, we got our upgrade. Call you over here. Now we got a gun. We don't use guns. So it's really not that effective for us to have that. I think we want to level you up right now. There we go. I was a little worried we might lose one of these guys while I was doing that, because let's be honest, my inventory manage my management of our characters is a little crap right now because of how I don't know, I just, it's sort of weird. I have a mouse with buttons on the side that I can control them with, but, like, the fact I can't rearrange them so that one and two are my, like, active searching party members, and, um, I don't know, it's just not, it's a really irritating thing. Because <laughs> it's like, I have to hit three and four on my key, uh, two and three on my key, see, I can't even keep them straight normally. Right, we're gonna open up this door. Now, this wasn't a wise decision on my end, but, you know. Wasn't the worst decision either. So we're going to have this room lit up. And what we're going to do is we're going to build an industry generator. And we can't build any defenses, so you open up that door. Yeah, and I'm expanding like the weird directions where I shouldn't be. Necessarily. Now, he should be fine there. What we're going to do is we're building prisoner pods here. That way they can handle it. We're sort of going to keep everything nice and on the steady. Now, can we level up anyone? Level 3, right? Everyone's level 3, right? Yeah, wow. I'm uh, keeping track of everyone's level by accident. <laughs> oh, that's not great. Now, our industry is so low. I really want to get another industry up here. Um, and I want to get these friggin' rooms lit up, or at least, like, a f another place where I can put turrets. So the question is, do we build up this room, or do we go to light up this room? And I think we'll light up this room and put some turrets up there. Just for that extra defense. We found monsters! Yeah! Keep track of everyone's HP and condition, just in case they spawn anywhere else. Doesn't look like they will. It's good news for us. In this room, once again, we enter a room where there is... Oh, we got something! 
We can't activate it because it takes too much industry. Now, actually, it might be a good idea to, uh, who has the... You do. Let's remove the scope from you. Actually, I it's you. You can actually use this now, which is good. Now, does he have as high of a wit value as this guy? No. No way close to that. What just happened? Oh, the cryo tube pop up. Um, but at least now we have someone there operating that. Which can be helpful. So, bring you back. Any monsters? No? Huh. Seems like the... One of what we're not doing, we're not doing research. But we don't have any research coming up. So, I mean, it's not really, like... Dust field, you know, I think it's one of the few we'll actually get done. Three doors. So we're gonna research it now. And, uh, last door on the dungeon. And we actually- wow! Alright. So the last door you open will automatically research the tech you need. So we're gonna have you go over here. Everyone will be in this room. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to teach everyone the trick that I learned before, is that buy things before you leave the floor, because they cost you literally nothing. There is no downside to doing this. Because um, the items you buy, you can't bring with you to the next floor, but you can always equip them to people. Now, he has a, an ability that will let him ignore the speed downgrade on that, so we're going to equip that to him. His so attack cooldown is so high now, though. Oh, excuse me. My apologies if I uh, keep that in there. Actually, let's buy that. And we'll equip that to him. So, equip that to him. And we'll, because he's not going anywhere anytime soon, we'll equip that to him. Question is, who do we give the lucky rabbit's foot to? Max HP and stuff? And wit? I think we'll equip it to her. So her HP pool goes up, which is great because she needs that. Even though she has a lot of... Uh, Defenses, she doesn't have a lot of HP, and I think we'll sell the six shooter because what chances are we're not changing out party members unless we get a character we haven't seen before. And I think it's like, ah, oh, well, I think we can actually dismiss this character, we don't need him anymore. So I think what we want to do is she gains a lot of speed and defense from that. Ah, grab it, go, 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 go. So doesn't look like the effect stayed on there. I'm not too worried, though. So I want you to go to that final room. So we're going to have all of our characters in this room fighting. The reason for that is they'll draw attention, and if any of them get low, we can sort of call them out anyways. So we're calling everyone out. We're at the end. And bam! Another full compete completed. 12 minutes this time, so still a pretty decent record. Um, we didn't leave with a very good resource count, though. Um, and that is very unfortunate, but we also didn't spend much, so... I hope you guys enjoyed the video either way. Even if I'm looking a little grim on, uh, supply right now for future floors, um, hopefully we can make it up this next floor. We'll be a lot more conservative with our, like, expansion out instead of, like, going all over the place and focusing on food as much as I love it. Um... So, yeah, thanks for watching and everything. Peace!